A woman is suing a Texas Walmart claiming that they knowingly allowed a snake to roam about their store and her son was bitten. She goes on to claim that her son suffered severe and permanent bodily injury due to the bite. She is seeking damages for physical impairment, disfigurement, physical and mental pain, anguish, suffering, medical expenses, and interest. Yep, it's the world we live in. And U.S. Customs officials seized uh, nearly 60 pounds of iguana meat on the Texas-Mexico border. They say that it roughly has a value of $1,560 in the U.S. market, and they go on to say that it is against the law without the proper importation permits to bring meat into the country. The iguana meat was seized and the woman transporting it was sent back to Mexico. It apparently is a violation of the Lacey Act to transport iguana meat into the country and it has been turned over to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for further investigation. And a North Carolina man was arrested for having 43 dead snakes. They say that three of the snakes were venomous, the rest were boas and pythons, and he is being charged with 43 counts of animal cruelty and he was released after giving written permission that he will show up for his court date, seeing as it was his first offense. And a 60-year-old Pennsylvania man has given a guilty plea in aiding and abetting the taking of protected species from the Madame Mesquite, I believe, National Wildlife Refuge. He also gave a guilty plea for trespassing on a National Wildlife Refuge. Now this, of course, all happened in North Carolina and stems from a couple-day investigation where wildlife officers were watching him from a distance, obviously, and he was sentenced to three years probation and fined $10,000. And that, of course, Course, better late than never was all your reptile news for this Friday. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.